What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video may be somewhat controversial. As you guys can tell from the thumbnail, I have had a change of heart on the More Than Gems event. Tonight we're going to do some math and kind of just analyze why I don't think it's necessarily worth the entire event. Uh, but yeah, it might be a little controversial, so buckle up. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Svet. I play the mobile game Rise of Kingdoms on Apple and Android. Um, absolutely love this game, been playing for quite some time. If you guys like this game just like I do and like seeing content like this, where I kind of give you my way that I play and my style that I apply to Rise of Kingdoms, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All of the support means a lot, guys. Like I said, we're going to go into more than gems, uh, but if you guys do like this content, we have some wars coming up. Um, so I want to show you how we do in my Kingdom 1846 and in my Alliance Watch It Burn. Alright guys, so for the longest time, and this video just to kind of forewarn, if you guys do not spend money on the game or do not have a ton of gems uh, piled up when More Than Gems comes and you don't do this event, this video may not apply to you. However, I've been playing this game, like I said, for about a year and a half now, and every More Than Gems event that comes out, I always used to make sure that I had the 50,000 gems to spend on this event when it came out to get all the gold heads. However, as of late, the past couple more than gems, I've been doing a little math and kind of thinking about it heavily, and I no longer think it, it is that worth all these gems. There's a way to actually do the event that gives you the absolute biggest bang for your buck. And so I'm gonna go into that right now um, and show you guys kind of what I do as of late. Um, like I said, when I first started playing, I would make sure I had 50,000 gems to spend on this event every single time because all the gold heads you get from it seem Keywords seem like a very, very good deal. Um, I'm going to get my calculator pulled up here just so I don't talk too much from the hip. Um, I want you guys to see exactly what I'm seeing. I've done all this a few times now to try to convince myself to not spend these gems. Um, but okay, let's just jump right to the event here. All right, more than gems. Kind of rare. I want to say we get it on average probably once every six weeks. Lilith has actually hit my kingdom, um, 1846, and I'm sure anybody in my, my bracket or whatever as well. Um, with a couple of these in the last probably three or four weeks. So while it's a kind of rare event, it seems like they've thrown us a couple um, kind of close together, which is somewhat rare. But again, there is some good value here. What I'm going to pitch to you tonight is that it's actually not worth spending the full 25,000 gems per night when this event comes out. So the things that I'm looking at here are going to be obviously the legendary Universal Commander sculptures, of course. Um, those are huge. The tomes are great to have, but they're not really something that I would personally spend a lot of gems on. Um, and so I'm really going to throw those out of my analysis. And then these three keys I will use for the analysis because they do cost some good money. Another thing as well in this video, guys, I'm going to show you, I'm VIP 16, so I'm going to show you what I can buy these things for in the VIP shop. Um, these level three pick ones, they're nice, but five of them, like, okay, not, not crazy. Um, and then the same thing with the resources as well. Like if you got a lot of them, I would say it's worth spending the gems, but for you to get 10 of these, I mean, it's kind of expensive and I'll, I'll do the math here for you guys soon. Now these stars that you would get for spending a full 12,000 gems, those are nice, but the amount of gems you have to spend to get them is kind of ridiculous because you can get these from all sorts of events. Let me just give you one right now. For example, we have training day, right? So all you gotta do is spend 8,100 minutes training troops, which you're gonna use in the game anyways, and you'll get 10 stars from that. So I don't think that you need to get these from the More Than Gems event. Now look, if you're a mega whale and you spend a ton of money on, the, on your account and in this game, go ahead, blow the gems by all means, it's worth it to have the extras. But if you're trying to kind of pinch a little bit and save a little bit of your gem slash money for more important things in my opinion, like a wheel, um, a Wheel of Fortune like Alex, Edward, anybody like that, um, you can save yourselves quite a few gems by doing it the way that I do it. Um, so just to jump right in, let's show in the VIP shop just to kind of show what the basis is of uh, the new way that I'm playing more than gems. Okay, so VIP shop, first off the gold keys. So the gold keys are 600 gems each. So we'll keep that in mind when we go to do some math here in a minute, just to show kind of what we're getting with the more than gems event. Um, but 600 a pop, okay? So that's kind of what we can use as our value level uh, because we wouldn't really, 
You get these in like the courier station here and there, but you never really see as good of a deal as they are here. I think I might have seen a few that match this, but mostly it's going to be like 50% off and you're paying like $750 or something like that for a key in the courier station. So really the VIP shop is going to be the best value. So that's kind of what I use as my basis for cost of these things. And then secondly, you've got the legendary commander sculptures. Those are 2000 gems. It's the best deal you're going to get anywhere you buy these. If you go into the normal shop, it doesn't even compare. I don't even know if you can get them in the normal shop, actually. Let's look. No, I really don't think you can. You really can't. Okay. So that's going to be your best bang for your buck in terms of buying sculptures with gems is 2000 gems a pop. We kind of use this as a baseline in how I think about my return in, on investment on the wheel of fortune. And I'm using the same kind of logic here to decide if more than gems is worth it or not. All right. So first things first, the first thing you get is the 1500 gems. So spend 1500 gems, you get a gold key and you get some other stuff. Look, I mean, you wouldn't ever want to spend 1500 gems just to get one gold key, but it's all about spending on the second level and the third level. So the second level at 4,000 gems, you're getting five of those stars. Um, then just some other kind of trinkets, like you're getting a decent tome there. This one's honestly, the only thing you want to push for here in the beginning is the 7,000 level, right? So if we do the math here, if we spend 7,000 gems, we're going to get five legendary commander sculptures, which in the VIP shop, that's 10,000 gems right there. So right off the bat, we're saving 3,000 gems right there. Then we're going to get two gold keys as well. So at 600, we would be at 11,200 gems spent in the VIP shop for these rewards. And here we're only at 7,000 spent. So in my opinion, it's more than gems is a great event to go up to 7,000 gems spent. Now, any further than that is where it starts to get extremely debatable, in my opinion. So let's just do some math here. The 12,000 one, you're getting eight stars, which again, you can get these in a lot of other places. So I'm not too sure that it's worth spending the 5,000 gems to get eight stars. And again, if you were gonna do more than 7,000, you would really wanna be pushing for the 25,000 level. But let's just do this math real quick. So, so you're gonna spend an extra, 18,000 gems to get to this top level here to get to the 25,000 gems. Um, that's eight sculpts, right? So if you were to buy these from the VIP shop, just to put it in perspective, um, that would be 16,000 gems. So right there, you're spending more on these sculptures by doing the more than gems, right? However, of course, there is always a, a however, you're gonna get three keys, right? We don't really care too much about these tomes or too much about these pick ones. They are nice little additions, but in my opinion, they don't make it worth spending these gems. So we're just comparing sculptures and keys. Now the keys at 600, that's an extra 1800 that you'd spend in the VIP shop. So all in all guys, you would spend 16,000 plus the 1800, you'd be at 17,800 in the VIP shop or you have to spend 18,000 here in more than gems to get the same result. Moral of the story here is this, this upper level is just simply not worth it. Let's say you really want these sculptures and these keys, go to the VIP shop. You can save yourself, what, 300, 200 gems, 200 gem savings to go to the VIP shop instead of doing this here in more than gems. Um, it really just is unnecessary. You can get now the legendary commander sculptures. Again, if you guys are whales and you spend a ton of money on this game, Getting those eight is worth it because um, you get some extra little trinkets that probably make it almost even in value, if not a tiny, tiny bit better um, than if you were just to go to the VIP shop and spend your 17,800 gems there. So look, if you're not, if you have no need to save gems, then don't. But guys, I mean, this is not a good deal. It's just straight up not a good deal. At first, like I said, when I saw this event, I would always make sure I had 50,000, let me repeat, 50,000 gems over two days for this event. That's just insane, right? That's a wheel and a half-ish of spins to get real results in terms of like building a new commander. Now I only spend 14,000 over two days. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment below, but I am no longer spending the full 25,000 gems twice in a row on more than gems of men. I'm actually only going to spend the 7,000 to, on this event. I'm never going to ever spend 50,000 in two nights. It's not going to happen. But again, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this strategy. Um, Cause I've done the math a few different times and a few different ways. And I keep getting the same result that 
I could just go to the VIP shop and buy the same thing um, if I really, really needed gold keys or commander sculptures. So that's it for tonight, guys. Like I said, this might be a little controversial for people that have been married to the More Than Gems event like I have for a really long time. Recently splitting off of it. Want to hear what you guys think about it. So like I said, drop a comment. And if you guys like hearing this type of stuff about how I play the game, little tips and tricks on how I can save some money, save some gems, and get the most value out of these events as they come out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the like button on this video as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Nice to talk to you. We've got fighting coming up soon. I'll talk to you later.